Half a day. You know what the literal meaning of the name of the company is that I'm reviewing for today? This shit is hot. This is Pika Este. Traditional Don Dinesh hot pepper sauce from Lena Sapika Este. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another hot sauce to review for you guys. Now I have uh, a couple of very special hot sauces to review for you guys today. Um, it's been about five years now since I first reviewed for this company. Uh, these products were sent to me from a couple that is located in Hillsboro, Oregon. And the name of this company is Lena Sapica Este which I believe this shit is hot. And this is the Pica Este traditional Don Dinesh hot pepper sauce. Now I did review their hot pepper paste and now they've, uh, five years ago, and now they've come out with a couple of different hot sauces based on those same ingredients, but I guess more in a uh, hot sauce form. This is the, uh, the original um, made with the, uh, the Boonie pepper or the Don Sali peppers and I'm also going to be reviewing this one they uh, came out with a hotter one and this is made with Carolina Reapers all right half a day hello okay let's go ahead and read what it says about this guys I'm going to read it from my phone it makes it easier but it is on the side of the bottles here it says we at Lena Sapica Este strive to continue the movement of spreading the boonie pepper to new taste buds and locations while connecting them to its uniquely Chamorro heritage. Uh, it says our recipe begins with using peppers grown from the highest quality seeds that are then aged to achieve a unique flavor and complexity. We are pleased to offer the one and only Don Sali hot pepper sauce to you and your community. Buen Prubechu. You're welcome. All right. And it also says on here, now these were sent to me from uh, Jorge and Julie Corion. And they're, um, once again, located in Hillsboro, Oregon. But it says here that Chamorro, um, which I believe it says a type of cooking that is used in Guam. It says Chamorro cooking is a traditional method of preparing and cooking dishes unique to the Pacific Island of Guam. Pica Este, which I, means, which I believe means literally uh, very spicy is a flavorful combination of authentic island ingredients and a touch of pica, or heat, I guess, from Guam's famous hot pepper, Don Sali. And that is a little, uh, little pepper, about this, uh, about that big. But they're pretty spicy, but delicious. This hot pepper sauce is considered a classic staple for almost every type of chamorro dish. As a side dish or mixed with your favorite sauces, Don Dinesh hot pepper sauce will add flavor and pica to all your favorite meals. Oh, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing everything right. Okay, well, let's go ahead and talk about this first one here. Um, here's the ingredients on this one, guys. Let me read it here. The ingredients on this one is, uh, now this is just full of amazing ingredients. The uh, Don Sali hot pepper, coconut cream, palm sugar, shallots, uh, calamansi, and that calamansi. Now that is, a I believe, a special hybrid type of um, uh, lime. And then they have lime, and then shiitake mushrooms, sea salt, sweet rice flour, bonito flakes, like those uh, roasted uh, uh, dried fish and seaweed type flakes, which really gives a lot of umami to whatever you put it in. Uh, roasted sweet peppers, roasted garlic, and fermented hot pepper so there's a lot of ingredients in there but uh pretty much the same color as i would say the paste but definitely not as thick uh pretty much the same ingredients i believe is that they're using in their paste but maybe this is just a little bit more loose now they didn't mention vinegar uh, but there may be a little bit of uh, i don't know vinegar in here maybe from the fermented peppers but it's not listed as an ingredient all right, look at that beautiful light color. All right, let's check out the, the aroma on this one. It says, try it on fish, pork, or chicken. Now, what I love about this one, and I remember what the paste uh, smelled like from five years ago. 
you just get a real nice blast of umami. Um, there's several different things going on, but I do recognize that coconut cream. You get that coconut vibe, not too strong, but you do get it a little bit. But you just get a rich mushroomy, I get that, mushroomy type uh, aroma. Definitely coming from the shiitake mushrooms and all those other ingredients that are in here. Um, the uh, bonita flakes and the roasted peppers, the roasted garlic. So it's just real, real rich, kind of earthy, mushroomy, umami, slightly uh, hints of coconut. But it just has an awesome aroma to it. All right, well, let's go ahead and check out this first one here. And it's a little bit on the loose side, as you can see, but it's still got that nice creamy texture that I remember from the paste. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow, rich, savory, slightly sweet, not that, not that sweet at all, but more savory. And now this one, you get a nice level of heat that just kind of fills the mouth a little bit. So those uh, those buni peppers or those Don Sali peppers uh, can pack a little bit of a, a punch. Kind of reminds me of like a, a pecan or type of pepper, real small or bird's eye maybe, but I think smaller. But really, really delicious. You definitely get the shallots, you get the garlic, you get the roasted garlic. Um, you get the roasted peppers, you get that coconut cream, which just adds some, um, not real strong in coconut, but it just adds some creaminess to this. It's just absolutely amazing. Now, here's what I did with this one, guys. I put this on um, top of my wife Myung's um, sweet and spicy twice fried chicken, and <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, I think you could put this on anything, rice dishes, um, eggs grilled meats anything like that i think it would be delicious i think the heat on this one um i would say is a strong three three out of ten for heat but let's go ahead and check this one out guys uh this is the carolina reaper one now i don't know if he um if jorge continued to use the uh the don Sali or the boonie pepper in here it's not listed but uh same basic ingredients guys but this one starts off with carolina reaper hot peppers and then roasted Carolina hot peppers, coconut cream, palm sugar, shallots, calamansi, lime, shiitake mushrooms, sea salt, sweet rice flour, bonita flakes, roasted sweet pepper, roasted garlic, and fermented hot peppers. So uh, same basic list of ingredients. Now the aroma on this one is just basically the same. Um, I get that rich mushroomy type of aroma. This is basically the same aroma. It may smell just a little bit more spicy. But one thing I noticed about this one is this one's a little thicker than the uh, the, the first one that uses the boonie peppers. But the boonie peppers may be in here as well, but he wanted to make this hotter, but it's definitely thicker. He's got those Carolina Reapers in there. All right, let's go ahead and show you what this one looks like. And as you can see from the pour, this is a little bit more thicker. I kind of like this one better. All right, let's see how hot this one is. Here we go. Mm. Ooh. Now, as you as you swallow this one, you get the same basic umami goodness from the original from the other one this one's starting to heat up a little bit more i think i can taste just hints of that carolina reaper in there it's not a super super hot carolina reaper hot sauce um but it's definitely kicked up a notch or two uh, from this one once again this one's about a three out of ten um this is still building a little bit it's, i can tell it's got the carolina reapers in there because i can recognize that super hot type of burn uh, but it's not crazy, crazy hot, but it's starting to go all over. It's starting to build a little bit more. Um, before I give you a number on this one, let me show you what I did with this one. I cooked a, um, a breakfast that I, I guess would be very popular in Guam. And that is one of my favorite types of breakfast, which was some scrambled eggs, some fried spam, and some fried rice. And I enjoyed the uh, Pica Este Carolina Reaper um, 
hot pepper sauce on that. That was delicious. Um, yeah, I think I would give this one a five. It's right there in the medium for me. It's building. It's got that super hot level type of burn. So I think a solid five out of 10 on this one. So great job on this, uh, Jorge and Julie. Uh, congratulations on your success. Um, guys, if you want the, um, the flavor of traditional uh, Don Dinesh, um sauces and pepper paste you definitely need to try these they are just amazing they've got a um, etsy website etsy.com uh, website uh, i'll put the link down in the description or etsy store is what i was trying to say where all their products are listed so make sure you're, you're sure you check that out that link will be in the description all right guys thank you so much for watching i greatly appreciate it and guys uh, stay tuned for a whole lot more and until the next time make sure you enjoy the burn we'll see you guys later